while the devastating floods which have ravaged Zhuzhou in Hebei province in northern China due to Typhoon Doxuri have caused more than their fair share of heartache, they have also illustrated the best of human nature. Shangya News reported on August 6 that biblical scale flooding has affected about 2.22 million people in the city, forcing the evacuation of one in six residents. In response, more than 150 civilian rescue groups from across the country came to the aid of flood victims. This reaction and the tales of heroism it entailed has inspired millions of people on mainland social media. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge, our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, Analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. Rescue workers who prioritize women and children touched many online. Video footage showed a male rescue worker in a life jacket holding a 40-day-old infant. While next to him was the baby's mother carrying two big bags. Those with children first, a voice repeatedly called out. As soon as the rescue worker and the mother and child reached safety, a couple gave up their seats for them. This melted the hearts of many people, with one saying, it is so touching. Thanks for protecting our people, while another commented, I wish everyone to be safe. Another trending story is that of a young man who delayed the rescue workers for two to three minutes by returning home to save his dog. Following his own rescue, it dawned on the man that he had left his dog behind at home. He immediately ran back to save his dog, in a three-minute act of love that has impressed countless people online. While many empathize with the man's display of love for his dog, some online observers felt that the man should not have wasted the time of rescue workers, which could have been spent on saving humans. The life of a small three-month-old pig Weighing about 30 kilograms, was saved after it followed a rescue worker who tempted and fed it with biscuits. When the worker saw the pig in floodwater one meter deep, he fed it biscuits. As the situation developed, it became clear that the poker was not going to leave the rescuers as long as there were biscuits available, facilitating the animal's journey to safety. Rescuers said that the pig was terrified and helpless, so they gave it to a villager who stayed behind in his home despite the flooding to look after. Oh, it melts my heart, one person said on Douyin. While another wrote, everything in the world has a soul that belongs. The story of a 43-year-old man who voluntarily prepared noodles for local rescuers and residents has gone viral. The man, surnamed Chao, from the Shenning rescue team of Hunan province in central China, arrived in Zhuzhou on August 2 to help with flood relief efforts. He had brought the hand-pulled Hui Mion noodles from his hometown and set up a noodle corner on the street providing 13 giant pots of the free food to flood-affected residents and rescuers. In the viral video, Xiao can be seen cooking a giant pot of noodles and distributing them to people lined up for a share. Zhao tells them, elderly people, children and rescuers are first. The Chinese public have praised his selfless deed, with many people labeling him a folk hero. Images of Zhuzhou citizens lining up on the street to say goodbye to the rescue teams from the neighboring Hunan province provided a perfect bookend to the countless feel-good stories resulting from the floods. In a viral video, Crowds of people can be seen lining the streets waving banners in thanks and appreciation as the rescue workers begin their journey home. You are all amazing. I will have to visit Hunan, an unidentified woman, says in the video. Mainland social media has been captivated by the moment. One online observer said, thumbs up to Hunan, while another said, I want to visit Hunan too.